Welcome to this episode of YouTube. We're assessing the progress of Aiden's confidence. As we talked about last week, he's had a little bit of an issue with the pack, but fortunately, Grayson has been extremely helpful in trying to build Aiden's confidence. So we rely on the surveillance video to be able to see the dynamics when we're not there. We know the dynamics when we are there can be a little bit confusing because there is competition about uh, the food resource, the human component, interacting and so the true assessment really takes place when humans are not involved within the social dynamics and so this is surveillance video from today actually on the 9th of February at a little bit before 7 in the morning and you see Denali get up and he immediately goes over to greet Aiden that's followed by Axel um, Grayson staying in the bed kind of chewing on some things Aiden actually leaves, goes over to the den, and then Axel is in a stock and chases Aiden back to the window. There's kind of a little bit of a secure area there, and you see Aiden defend himself. Grayson runs over but does not engage. Danella just stands there and tail wags, and so there's still a little bit of tension, but what we are seeing is more and more Aiden is coming away from the safety areas, investigating and that's Axel kind of walking up behind him. So um, it appears that even though Axel does charge him a little bit, it's not as serious of an interaction. So that allows us to be able to see things that are very important in assessments, such as scat. What does a scat look like? You know, um, if there's there any um, problems with defecating, obviously we don't know if some of the behavioral things are caused by physical abnormalities. He drops a dark scat, so we know he's been eating because we've been hand feeding him. Uh, we've stopped separating him from the pack because we want to uh, get him back in the mindset to be part of the pack. So we did that for a period of time to be able to give him a little bit of relief. But right now we're working on trying him to gain confidence around the pack. So I'm hand feeding uh, him uh, daily in order to be able to get him to think about being a pack member and competing again. Uh, we also watched him on the surveillance camera drag a carcass um, into that kind of protected area by the window and use that resource. And so that protected area has been used before by dominant wolves who are being tested. Uh, Mackenzie had used that quite a bit during the summer of 2002 when she was having issues with Shadow and Malik testing her status. But what we're most encouraged about, and this was footage this morning from around 820, is that he seems to be relaxing more. So he, here he is, uh, basically in order. We have Axel, Grace, and Denali, and then there's Aiden back up in the window, rolling over, rolling on back. And so that's a really relaxed posture for him to display. So the question is, where was Bolts in all this? Well, part of the reason that Aiden was so relaxed is that Bolts is up on top of the slate den guarding a, actually a pig head. Uh, we had uh, someone who had butchered some pigs and had some parts and we fed it out as a distraction and he's keeping the ravens from it so he wasn't part of that but later in the day he is interacting uh, there's staff in with the retired wolves and he's running the fence line what's interesting here is that these arctic seem to be following bolts and so there may be something in their mindset about bolts being in a leadership role and that's bolts and then grayson and then axel coming from behind but notice how axel stops and he's keyed into what Aiden's doing because as soon as Bolts moves on, Axel is going to watch where Aiden is and he's going to kind of come back. So this is a daily process. This is something that we just can't, you know, we, we, we need to watch. We just can't make a determination right now what's going on with them. Uh, but we're comforted to know that he's in the mix. So we prepared a bed a little bit uh, farther away from the rest of the beds. And we do know that things get ramped up when it's cold. I mean, we had another 24, 26 below a uh, couple of mornings here. So we anticipate as spring arrives and we get some warmer weather that this is going to hopefully subside a little bit. But that doesn't mean that Aiden's going to be in a situation where we, you know, um, can say that he's going to continue where he is. We still have to assess that. And what's interesting is watching even the raven interactions. So it may not just be wolves having this behavioral response. Here's a pair of ravens, and it looks like one is uh, getting a little irritated with the other and moves them off as well. So this could very well just be what cold weather does to social interaction. So over in retirement, Luna's doing pretty good. We are 
uh, back on two pounds a day of meat for her and making sure that she has resources. Uh, Grizzer is looking very well into the middle, you know, middle of winter here, and he's got a really good condition, good coat. He's still at three pounds of meat a day, so he's a pound of meat higher than Luna, so we're still kind of managing that. And he's working that leg pretty well. He's walking around pretty well. We had a couple of moments where the slippery conditions uh, were, you know, a little hard on him in some of the colder weather, but we put down a lot of cover hay and give him a choice to bed in the sun in the cover hay, and he seems to be moving around pretty good for a wolf approaching 14. So that's it. Again, we'll continue to see staff working with Aiden in the enclosure. We'll do less and less of the separation of the pack now. We're trying to, again, get Aiden in the mindset to deal with the pack. Uh, we did some separation early on just to really help us confidence, but now our process is, you know, focus on the pack and try to integrate him into, back into the pack mentally. So he's kind of there from the standpoint of Denali and Grayson, but not quite there yet from Axel and Bolts. And we're not saying that he's going to be pack leader again. If he chooses not to be, that's his choice. We just want to be able to give him a, a psychological state that is relaxed so that he can interact uh, without anxiety. So with that said, I'll leave you to watch the other social interactions that are going on in the pen. So this raven is taking advantage of some of the food resources, listening for activity, and so is Axel, with the ears pricked forward, always aware of what's going on within the enclosure. Thanks for watching.